like there are like six little lights and like a hex hexagon and I don't know, it just looks weird. That is not an aeroplane, it is too big for that. It is not a building, it is not a crane or anything. It's too high up in the sky and it's too bright. I don't know what this is, but they're shifting shapes. First it was a straight line, now it's turned into a perfect triangle. And there are more lights coming in and they're merging into it. I just want to go out and come back. I know. Look, look there it is! Oh my god! The yeah, other one just totally came back. Different spot than oh the my other god, one okay, was. the other one just came back on. I, you in guys a totally all saw that. Spot. In a different spot. Oh my god. Then that one's gonna go out. Oh my god, it just went out! What is this? Are you videoing this too, babe? Uh huh. That was too weird. That was weird that you were like, I want it to go. <laughs> I want it to come back again. Do it again. Oh man, that was weird. There's a lot of them. Whatever they are. It just appeared like that within seconds. <laughs> There's 12 of them. That's so funny. There's the street light. And I think they're coming this way, aren't they? People in the media and even the public have been brainwashed by the scientists who don't want to investigate this. But there is enough evidence, scientifically proved, based, that can be investigated and presented to the scientists. And they have to ac accept and agree that, the, that this phenomenon is real. There is no question in my mind.
storage solution. That's sexy. You don't have to buy it. You just have to sell it. Now, what's of great importance, the site at which this calf was found was flown over a couple of days later, and a photographer, he looked down at the field, and he found 47 crop circles scattered across this field in long chains around the edge of the field, 47 separate circles, all in the same field. The year was 1975, three years before Doug and Dave began making circles and thousands of miles away from their home in England. To find 47 circles in a field in the 1970s is something which at the time was utterly unprecedented. We don't have any numbers even approaching that many until well into the 1990s. So this is an important historical finding a quarter of a century ago now. They evolved from a simple circle, a straightforward simple circle. It was intriguing to say the least that it started initially circle with a single ring, then a double ring. Then we had the circle with its nearby neighbor, and that neighbor was half the size of the mother circle, as it were. Those appeared all over the south of England, and then there were three. Now two neighbors, both half the size of the the central circle in a straight line. Now that was doubled and at uh, 90 degrees, so we know we have four forming a Celtic cross. Unconnected satellites, but a traditional Celtic cross. Almost impossible in those days. I was wondering whether they were made by people and things like this are almost impossible to, to, to hoax. These aren't just arbitrarily placed as circles. There's a certain magical way in which they've been laid out. If, if you were to graphically present it as a grid, you more or less get that um, a hexagonal grid or triangular grid, standard triangular grid, and here are your three edge alignments, one, one going up there, one going down there, one going down there. So there's a line just clipping three circles, and I call those tangents, which is what they're doing. It's one line, it's tangenting three circles. I was really struck immediately by the precision of the thing. And as far as I was concerned, it helped to explain the beauty of it, just as a graphic. So the only way to do this really is to design it to be such. Yeah. The chances of it being accidental or oh, yeah. some sort of natural occurring. Well, you could say maybe natural, but, um, but cert certainly not some, uh, some drunken farmers. This was the formation that appears on the cover of Colin Andrews' book, Circular Evidence. It was the first really famous right. crop circle to, right. to... It's the crop circle that got imprinted in most people's minds in, at the very early stage of the phenomenon. And it was simply a beautiful Celtic cross. It was very interesting that if you drew, drew a pentagram on the, um, on the outer circle, just hang it in there, it, it closes a central space that is the size of the central element. And if you repeat that procedure, you take the central element and hang a pentagram inside it and um, fill that space with a circle. That circle there is the size of these four satellites. So you've got the same proportion expressed twice invisibly in this, in this formation, which is one of the, one of the reasons, I think, why it, why it is very pleasing. There's all this stuff going on, which is always, always the case in good design and, and um, good sacred art. right here. I, I couldn't believe my eyes. You just 
you're just speechless. I never seen anything like it in my life. I never expected to. The formation was 58 meters long and 18 meters wide. 